Hey you guys, it's Rose here. Look at me. I'm gonna be showing you guys today how I got this beautiful blue cut crease. But first I'm gonna start off with my morning routine. Here I'm gonna use the Neutrogena Clear Pore Facial Mask. Oh my goodness, this mask is like so cool. That's why you see me like did that little hiccup. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face. You know, it's like a good facial. It really gets into your pores and cleans out all that dirt. And this mask is very, very cool while pulling it on. And plus, I like to keep it on my face for a few minutes just to let it sit in and tingle. And then I'm gonna wash it off. Woo, you see my face? <laughs> I'm gonna dab my face. And then I'm gonna use this product um, that I got. It's called the Seven Day of Age Fighting Power by Oil Hendrickson. Um, it's really, really good. It smells so good. Um, I'm gonna be using the um, uh, Daytime Glow. And oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. What you got to do is you just have to rub it in your skin, on your neck, your mouth. And then I'm gonna go in with my Novea Cocoa Butter Face Lotion. And then I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Primer to prime up my face. So I'm just gonna get all of that, rub all those products in there. And then we're gonna do my brows off camera and boom. There you go. And then I'm gonna go into the Beauty Glaze Color Fusion Palette and use that hot pink. Beautiful fuchsia hot pink. And I'm gonna be using that in with a blending brush above my crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into that palette and use the purple in that palette. At first I was like, okay, I'm gonna use this purple, but then it's not exactly the type of purple I wanted. So I went into a different palette, the um, Beauty Glaze Reversal Planet palette, and used the black. The reason why I use black is because I know that black and pink make purple. So I wanted a dark purple vibe. Okay, so now that's all blended in towards my crease, I'm gonna go in with LA Girls HD Concealer. And this shade is known as the Yellow Corrector. I'm just gonna be using this to just cut my crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into the Reversal Planet palette and use the color Turquoise in towards my inner eye. And then I'm gonna go into the Beauty Glaze palette and use the blue towards the outer crease, you know, and blend and fuse those colors in together. Make them blend, make them mix. Um, uh, and then I decided, okay, this look was missing something. So then I went back and got another um, concealer from the LA Girls. Um, and this one is known as flat white. So I'm just using that to, um, along the lining of my crease because I'm going to add another color in there. I just felt like this look was missing something. So I'm just going to slowly draw towards my crease and then I'm going to use a highlighter eyeshadow powder. Okay, the one thing I don't like about using eyeshadow powder is it can get very messy very quick. And it leaves a lot of fallout. You see that? But everything's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Cleaning up that fallout and uh, blending back in that blue. And then I'm going to go in with Beauty Glaze Press Glitter. I'm going to use that beautiful sparkling blue, you know, just to make those colors pop out even more. I'm just making all the colors come out. That's all I'm doing towards my eye right now. Sorry if I sound tired. It's like... <laughs> It's like close to one in the morning. I'm very tired. And then I'm just going to be um, drawing on my wing eyeliner with the Q-Best eyeliner. One thing I love about this eyeliner is that it's very runny and it's like very, very easily applied towards glitter. One of the reasons why I love using it. I'm just going to also be shaping up my wing, you know, cleaning out any excess. And then I'm going to use that same concealer to do this just drawing uh, all over my wing creating like a double wing look effect yeah so that's what i'm doing here and i'm just fixing up that eye 
getting rid of all those excess fallout, making sure that look is sharpened. It looks crazy right now, you guys, but just trust the process. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the Fall Out Care Balm Lashes Mascara. Applying that towards my eyelashes. And boom, I did my lashes off camera. And for foundation, I'm using the Zephora 10-Hour Foundation. We're in the number known as 58. That's the shade number. And I'm using a microfiber sponge to just blend in that product. And I also, I didn't really apply much um, foundation on my face. But what I like to use is the um, Beauty Blender and some water. Just so you know that product applies easily. So I'm not using so much product. And then, you know, I'm just going to be rubbing that in. Rubbing that in. And then I'm also going to go back and use uh, um, the LA Girls Concealer. This is the um, shade known as Dark Cocoa. Underneath my eyes. Yep. Fixing up that look. Make sure that look is sharpened. It has a beautiful effect. You see how the eyes come in? It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's such a beautiful look. And then for contouring, I'm going to be using a Black Radiance True Complexion Palette. And this is the shade known as Dark to Deep to contour. For my waterline, I'm going to be using the Ruby Kisses 24 Hour Eyeliner Definer in the shade known as White Out towards my waterline. So now I'm going to go back into that same palette, the Color Fusion palette, and use that hot pink that I use towards the underneath of my eyes. You know, I'm blending that in uh, well. And then I also decided to go back into that purple from the Color Fusion palette, the very same purple towards my um, under eye as well. I'm just going to be fusing the pink and the purple together just to make a beautiful color. And then I'm going to go back in with the Fall Out Girl Balm Lashes Mascara towards my under eye. And then I'm going to use the QC Makeup Palette, the Blush Palette. You see that color right there? And using a Beauty Blender to apply the blush color towards my cheeks. Just give that beautiful, that pink effect. And then I'm going to take the um, Black Radiance, the True Complexion Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to be using the highlighter known as First Class in the inner corner of my eye and towards my nose. And then I took another highlighter palette, and it's called Hyundai and Aurora Lights. It's the beautiful pink. I'm just going to be using that towards the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and at the high point of my cheeks. And then, so then I also went in with a different highlighter, um, the Miss Rose Shimmering Highlighter in the shade known as number 6. Towards the high point on my cheeks using Urban Decay Setting Spray All Nighter. And then I'm going to take the DM Lip Gloss and using that for my lips. For the lip gloss, the, um, the shade number is known as number three. Forgot to mention that. Okay, we are done, folks. Here is a close up of the eye look. It's so beautiful. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at iArts underscore by Rose and also on Facebook at iLooks by Rose. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and also hit the good old notification bell. Love you guys. See you in the next one.